So this is Rusty, y'all. And he is beauty. He is. What is he, 18 months old? He's 18 months old. He comes from Osage, Iowa. Uh, Anderson Farms is the breeder of this bull. Um, Phil Anderson is the owner. And um, he and his uh, family raised uh, Tarantakes. Well, he's going to walk right on the trailer. Yeah. <laughs> and they uh, very happy with the Tarantakes bulls. <laughs> <laughs> yep, you saw how easy that was. All right, so I don't know if we've ever officially introduced no. Mr. Mike. So, this is we talk about him a lot. This is Mr. Mike. You heard us say Mr. Mike. Mr. Mike. This You're is YouTube Mike. famous, Mr. Mike. I'm famous. I well, have been there's... on the uh, on the flip flop barnyard video a couple different times. Yeah. Yep. I have, and I've heard uh, heard you talking about me and uh, <laughs> the lovely Terran taste cattle, and, yep. and we love them. It's I, been a hard year for us. I but am a uh, I am a big big super fan of the American Terran taste. As you saw, they're very gentle, easy to load, easy to handle, especially if you're a one person operation. Yes. Or you have a bunch or of if kids. You've got kids. <laughs> or if you have kids, they are they are very very easy. They're very curious cows too. Yeah. They uh, they will come up and if they see you standing out in the yard, they'll come to visit you just to Absolutely. see what you have going on. And they do. And uh, the thing that, that we like about them uh, a lot is is that where these uh, where the black ones, as soon as the sun comes out like this, typically you don't want to handle them in right. the middle of the day. Uh, but the Tarantays don't seem to uh, yeah. the sun the heat doesn't really bother they, them uh, as much. So they. Uh, we, I have no problems moving them any time of the day. So yeah. it's got, just a matter of uh, picking up a, a, a sack, a feed, or yep. a bucket, walking in here. As a matter of fact, when I was getting him up before you guys got here, mm -hmm. I just took the sack, walked out here in the field and called him, and he was the first one that walked in. <laughs> so I shut the gate and separated him. Nice. So. Super easy. He's got two Angus right here behind Jenna. Yeah, I slipped that in are, the uh, gates. These are semi, uh, semi tall Angus. Semi -tall Angus. Okay. Crosses. Uh, we're trying to get a little more muscle in our beef uh, to boost our cow herd up a little bit. Uh, so for our commercial cows, uh, this is where we're going. And that's the reason Rusty's here. Uh, Rusty is a little, uh, he's a smaller frame, but he's a little more he's muscular. Beefy, yeah. And so we're, I'm trying to get a little more uh, muscle um, in uh, my replacement heifers. If I do get some replacement I'll heifers, they're going to little, they're going to be a little more muscular, yeah. uh, beefy looking. Um, and, and it's unfortunate that here on the East Coast, everybody is uh, black Angus uh, yep. colorblind, <laughs> um, and so you know when we take our red cattle to market, they don't do quite as well. Right. But uh, when we sell the beef, everybody loves the beef. So. Yep. Um, we have gone to selling more beef and taking less to the market and, yep. uh, and it's worked out very well for us so far. Absolutely. We people, hope it does in the future. People know where their food is coming from. When they buy from you, they can come check out your farm and say, hey, this guy, I like what he's got going on. That is His correct. cows are cared for. So, yep. and uh, that's what we're, that's our goal, you know, is to be able to sell direct to consumer. And I uh, think that you won't have any problems. No, we've got people lined up. So. <laughs> That's as right. soon as we That's get him right. on the ground, it'll Absolutely. be ready. Absolutely. But man, I, he is beautiful. He's going to be a pretty calf coming out of our jersey. He's. A, I like this small frame, especially right. breeding back to right. Jersey. So yeah. that'll be awesome. And then Miss Alyssa. Yep. That'll be awesome too. Yep. All right. I'm going to turn them out with all the big cows, all the beefers first, because yep. I think Cookie just went out. The last like week. Okay. okay. We'll okay. Right back in a couple in weeks. And yep. The only thing that we'll have to be careful with is is that uh, you have some of your heifers 
they're going to be six, six months old. Yeah, right? six seven months they'll start cycling. Okay, yeah, so we'll put them up. We'll yeah, we'll have to uh, have to be careful with that because he's small enough that he'll he'll be able he'll to try to he'll try to do some business. Okay. Um, we'll, we'll separate those yeah. probably today. Yeah, yeah, there's just a couple out there. So. Yeah, you know, lots of people will tell you that while they're nursing, they won't breed. <coughs> uh, but I can tell you that that's a uh, a wives tale. They <laughs> yeah. they will breed. Well, yeah, while you they're had nursing. one. I remember because <laughs> yeah. the first time we met you, or not met you, but came to look, it was six about six years ago. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And uh, 2014, I think, yeah. wasn't it? Something and, like uh, that. I think it was 2014. Yeah. One of the cows that we thought was beautiful, we said, well, that's a beautiful heifer. We want her. And you said, actually, <laughs> she's a cow now. And we're like, uh, what? She, she was small and... Had already had a calf. Yeah. Uh, that's she right. She was uh, beautiful, though. I and mean, that's the thing about the Terrantes is, is they're, uh, they're they're very good breeders, too. Yes. They are uh, very, uh, very motherly good. and uh, and will we'll oh. breed quick. Yeah. They'll talking breed a little mother, too fast. Talking about motherly. Matter. Uh, Missy, uh -huh. which is Miss Alessa's calf. Okay. Her little heifer. Oh. Uh, well, she's a cow now. But she her, she's a cow now. Her little bull calf uh -huh. was really uh -huh. stunned. I don't know what the deal was, but he's just teeny tiny like right. the twins. Right. We gave him to a friend of ours in Catawba because he was the bull calf. Okay. That he just wants a pet. And right. And thing is, it's a pet. We'll never kill him. So uh, we took him to him and gave him to him. Well, he it's been about for whatever month. it was. It was a month or more, and for whatever reason, the neighbor decided he couldn't use their pasture anymore. Right. I don't know what the deal was. He didn't tell me, so he said, "Hey, can you come back and get him?" And Kylie's like excited. So yes, we go back and get him this week. We wake up this morning and there's bawling, bawling, bawling. I'm oh, because we put cookie. him in the barn. We put him in the barn. Uh, Samson. Samson since Delilah. He'd been gone for a month. Uh huh. And Missy is bawling for him. She knows. The barn yeah. she knows. Yeah. yeah. He was with her for a few days because we put him out with her. Right. Yeah. And then we put him back in the barn because of Samson being alone because right. he's got the cast on his legs so he right. has to stay up. And <laughs> she was, yeah, this morning I, mean, I was like, what's going on out there? Because she was going crazy and we were like, it was because yeah. he was in the barn. Yeah. They pick up very quickly. Oh, yeah. yep. Very quickly. Funny, so. You know, there's some of our mama cows that, you know, we wean our heifers off and then yeah. when we bring them back to the herd, they'll automatically. They become a pair again. Right. Uh, when you see one, you see the other. Yeah. Yep. Well, Missy so, and Miss yeah. Alyssa, they stick together. Yep, too. they do. Yep. So. so. All, All right. right. Well, thank y'all. Thank you. What? All right. Uh, We're trying to separate the heifers. Uh, we get the cows back out. We put everybody in this paddock, which is next to the barn here. Yeah, Buttercup is definitely all about coming up and getting up in the business. So. Yeah. Hey, Gertie. Right, let's let some cows out. All right. Come on, Tony. Try to keep Buttercup in there. separating heifer calves out from the cows so that when we put the bull out he doesn't have access to the heifer calves. Yes, yeah. just in case. And we got them, it was pretty much successful. We have one cow left in this field with the heifers. We'll have to eventually get her out, but she was not. Um, she's she, a little bit. She's a little flighty. Yeah, definitely. So, and then uh, we have a couple of bull calves so we'll want to separate them out, but they're still not big enough yet. So uh, we're getting there. We're having they're close. Yes. So we want to get them out. We don't want to leave any chance to any of the little young ones getting bred. Getting bred just uh, But we're going to go ahead and let Rusty the bull out with these guys and see how that goes. See what happens. Yes. We're excited. Here right now. Here he comes. Oops. 
sit back, Kylie. Hey, bud. hey buddy. You're all right. <laughs> wound up. Yep. That is not what you need to do, buddy. We took the panels down. We had a corral set up for the cows. We had taken the panels down. He's all wound up from being on that trailer. Mm hmm. Let's come this way and close this gate because Missy's wanting to get in here. Yeah, that's because Stevie's in here. I know. Gosh, that bug just blew my eye. You stay out here. You stay out here. All right. Well, we've put him out, and he's checking everybody out. We hear yep. you. And they're checking him out, so um, I guess he'll do his job with whoever. He seems pretty needs to be. happy. I think we only have one of the Tarantays that uh, did not get bred that we know of, but we're not positive. But we're. Uh, so we think anyway. So we think so. Anyway, he's he seems happy, and everybody's just hanging out here. So. That's we'll that. see how it all goes. Yep.